Hello viewers, my this video is for all the students who are studying from Pakistan, who are not studying from a top tier university, who might feel inferior slightly because of studying from a university which is located in a backward area, which is not at a good place. So something which I learned in my life, that's uh, how I used to feel. I slightly used to feel inferior, but then I overcome that thing because of following certain tips which uh, helped me to even grow among the graduates of top tier universities. So when I was working in Easy Pesa back in 2015 to 16, I had colleagues who were either graduates of IBA, LUMS or uh, uh, New York University or Washington University or from London Business School from the top tier universities. They were graduates of, of the top tier universities and I was the only one who was uh, not from a top tier university who did his graduation in masters from Comsets University Islamabad. So I was the only one from the Comsets or this tier universities. And uh, uh, because of this thing, you know, first thing people ask you that from where uh, you did your graduation and whenever you become friend with them. And uh, then when you are sitting with the people, then you can imagine that what kind of feel you get. But somehow I overcome that and somehow all the time I got better appraisals, I got better uh, results compared to my friends. Those are my friends who are watching me, they, they will accept this thing that all the time uh, I, I was the only one who was continuously reading, who was continuously improving himself. If something new was published on HPR or on some other journal, I was the only one who used to study the academic journals, who used to study the books of Dr. Kumar on customer value management and analytics. I was the only one who could code. I learned the coding even though I was a business graduate but I learned the SQL just to extract the data and make models of data analysis, data analytics, the predictive analytics. So my suggestion to you is that that you will face the situations in life when you will see the people who have been in the better areas, who have did the graduation from a better place but their recognition is their university. Somehow you have an edge over them and that is people are ex people are expecting less from you and if you tell the better things to them compared to those graduates then you will have the chance to get promoted you will have the chance to have a better appraisals so the the one thing i would like to say that never ever feel in fear that your university is low or you have learned uh, from a from not a good university all the time focus on improving yourself and if you are coming from a background which is slightly weaker, then I would recommend you that daily update yourself, read the new books, get the new skills, uh, learn what's going on in your, in your industry, whatever your field is, uh, decide that what are the top people in, the, in that area. Let's say when I was working on the customer value management, I realized, okay, Russell is the top thing, Dr. Kumar is the top person who are working with IBM, who are working with Intel, HP, and they're making models for them for the customer value management. So I was kind of following all the time with them. So I'm sure whenever I will meet Dr. Kumar one day, I will tell him, sir, you have written 200 articles and I have read your all 200 articles. So this is something which is uh, uh, which which will which will kind of help you to stand out of the crowd. So that's what I wanted to share with you today. So if you are from a university which is not a good university, do not worry. You still have the chance to improve yourself. You still have the chance to be better. And in real life, the degrees does not matter. In real life, the institute does not matter. In real life, what matters is that that how much you are updating yourself. A person who worked in a good institute, in a good company, in a good university uh, 10 years ago and he is not developing himself, you can become better than him. So that's what I wanted to share today. If you find it useful, do share it with others and uh, let's have a larger community, bring more people on my YouTube channel, Muhammad Farooq Buzdar. Thank you for being here.